Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page, sisters of light and dark. Those who are good in the dark and good in the light. He represents justice, peace, love, and kindness, and karma dharma. Also, um, this page this is part two. Okay, solutions to the negroid and also uh, minorities in this country. So we can get this out of the way, you know, so we won't have to talk about this because I see a lot of talk and talk and talk, but there's no action. And because there's already been action taken when I'm talking about this topic, let's, let me continue on. Okay. Now, I've already talked about the history of my first video. I talked about feminism. I also talked about uh, power distribution. Okay. And white man's fears of control and also losing control in the first one. Okay. So... We are going to talk about something different, okay? Which will most likely be a solution to the problem, but it really can't be really a solution if you think about it, okay? It can't be. The only solution is is that, you know, you can't really have black communities and stuff like that unless the white man allows you to have limited power within the, con the country, the power structure, okay? So um, I understand there will be educated blacks who say, oh, you, you know, we'll be looking for a handout. But who are you? Why are you so prideful? Why don't you have humbleness with yourself, okay? You know that there's capitalism, correct? And capitalism is the American way, okay? And also the white man's way, because they have capitalized on pretty much 90% of the things that you cannot escape, okay? okay? Universities, for example, okay? Science, okay? Mathematics, philosophy, okay? And also, you know, currency, okay? You know, even slavery has been capitalized, monopolized, okay? I'm using everything in layman's terms so people could understand, okay? But in order for African Americans, Negroids, okay, or even minorities who's making under, okay, the uh, middle class, okay? Now I'm talking about middle class here. Now black middle class are like one of the most wealthiest in the world, okay? It's just like right there. They're like roughly the seventh place or something like that. You know, the one to two percent or five is the most wealthiest and they're predominantly white, okay? But then you got these football players who's making well over the amount of middle class, okay? You got a lot of African Americans who's making millions and millions of dollars, okay? And you got women who's spending even more billions of dollars on hair products and stuff like that to get their self up, up you know, persons in tuck, persons in tuck, um, pussy reconstruction. Come on now. All this money is being recycled on the self, okay? And this is a fundamental flaw for most African Americans and, and, and minorities out there. They don't want to learn anything. They only think about themselves just as the white men think about themselves. But there is a genetic flaw, okay? Okay, I'm talking about genetics now. Okay, the white men think about their own brethren because that's lineage, okay? The black man does not, okay? Okay, so how did the Persian Empire fall, okay? You do know about the Persian Empire. I don't know no dates right now. My mind is not that strong to go back there. But I've seen the movie called 300, which is based on true events, okay? And so you got these majority of, or we want to say minority of white people all scattered across the world. They had to come together as one to fight the empire, the Persian empire who thought themselves as gods. I was like, wow, a beautiful race of people, the Persian empire. Very special indeed with their own ally, their own belief system, their own religion. Conquering the white man? Is this possible? Do you think the white man will fall for this? No, no, no. Like I said before, I'm not cooning at all. I'm just talking about truth. Power trades. When someone gives up willingly to give power and it's being taken advantage of by the same currency of power. So regardless if it's a democracy or a republic, the republic is more mature. Okay, It forces people into a dilemma. When you, so I have nothing against both sides. Okay. But of course, you know, I'm more of a conservative, okay? I like the balance right in the middle, okay? I'm right there, okay? I'm below the middle class, okay? I'm more of a spiritual person. I try to help people to to settle for what they have rather than for selling it for too much, okay? Now, a solution could be, okay, monetarizing all black neighborhoods, lifting up the white man has to do this with capitalism. They have the currency in play, okay? Unless the black man is going to start monopolizing on the world, like the Persian Empire, that's almost impossible. Okay? You gotta, you have to monitor things. Everything has to be monitored. Everything has to be imperialized, enforced. The women are the power, okay? Indirect power, which controls the conglomerate of the world. 
especially for the black woman, which is the lowest. Okay. So when the black woman is empowered in understanding it of themselves, they know how to keep a right man, choose a right man. But how is that possible? How is that going to happen? It has to be enforced. Okay. I can't enforce it. I, I've dated many single black women and they had their own daughters, but they did listen to me. No, they will not listen to me. Okay, no matter if I have degrees or not, they're very superficial in their own ways. And you can see the educated black men will basically come out on top. Okay, okay so you have these individuals like Cornell West and, and, and other powerful black individuals, you know, but they most likely might get assassinated by 50%. Okay. So how, they don't want that to happen in the black community. No black leaders will communicate. Even the Black Panther Party, the new age one, they're talking ridiculous out of their nose. Kill the cracker, okay? Now, I know Louis Master Farrakhan is a powerful man indeed. But what he should be doing is trying to educate the women, okay, on how to treat the good black, black man, okay, African man, minority man, okay? Okay, now the infrastructure can be easily be fixed by the white man's assistance. They're the ones who have the knowledge to build the homes okay, and the houses. Asian men can come together. Asian men, these differences has to stop. Okay, African Americans have to stop this difference thing. Okay, in which we are different and we are better. That has to go. You cannot fix the African American community. We have to come together as one, as a whole, as a humanoid species of races. No one has more power than another, but it has to happen, though. Someone has to be on top. Someone has to be the head. Since there's no God sitting on that chair, we have something called religion, okay? And that's not even working? Come on, now. The white man put that in place, man. You can look at the Egyptian walls. It doesn't really matter where it comes from. The gods are above man. We are a slave to the gods. We are a slave to the gods. Remember, this is part two, okay? I'm going to have to go into part three. Okay, now, okay, you got capitalism in place, which most likely will not allow minorities to have their own segregated areas, okay? You have the fear, okay? You have feminism, okay? All these things are in place to keep the minorities from overpowering on using their pride and their also superficialness. Sometimes it's just African Americans are super, so superficial and so prideful, okay? And, and keeping this, uh, the racist down, okay? You gotta have someone on top, okay? As I said before, I don't coon at all. I'm just telling the truth how it is. So you're gonna have to have a bloody war like the Persian Empire versus the the, the Greeks and the Greek boys and Athens and shit. And everybody gotta come against the African Americans or the darker skinned races. Okay, you don't want that. That's a bloody war. In Africa, they already put in place puppets so they can see if they can run their own country. But they're doing a terrible job. Come on now, I was in Ethiopia and they didn't have lights and shit. They didn't have power grids up. They didn't have satellites or nothing, man. Come on, man. Okay, now what else is there to talk about? Um, okay, you, you know, my Negroes, African American races, and also minorities, and it, it, that's including Indians, people who are, don't make uh, middle class. The middle class, it should be well off, but they complaining too. So it's actually a spiritual thing, in which people have to come together and gripes with themselves in order to break free of this material world okay okay i lived in the homeless shelters before when i was very content okay i wasn't really happy because of the fact that you know i had to do something okay but eventually a blessing came along okay see content let me see what else okay economics okay i spoke about that now the infrastructure i talked about that i talked about black uh uh, middle class, okay, you, you see how many wealthy black individuals there are in that right now, and they're allowing it to happen? Come on, man. You got educated black men who go to universities trying to educate black men. You got Republican Tea Parties who's trying to force it. Okay, that democracy is more of a pa passive side, while Republican is enforcing it, okay? Because I don't hate either side, okay? It's benefits of the coin on both sides, okay? So that's what I wanted to say, you know, I'm like, let me see, should I make a third one? You'll see it if you do. But I think I talked about pretty much everything. Racism is still a big thing in America. So now you know the white power structure is pretty powerful. So there would be no way in hell, almost impossibility, that they're going to give up their capitalism so you can dominate them in your own country or European empire or the British empire. How is that possible? Peace and love to you, brothers and sisters of light and dark. You have to negotiate and make deals. This is the only solution. Peace. Humble the self with the soul. Peace.